All right, hey, what is up, you guys? It's Silo Neos back with another video. As you guys can see, it's a totally different video I haven't done before. So, uh, let me tell you about this video. It is, as you can tell from the title, a basic guide to making thumbnails. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me to do uh, tutorial videos on how I do certain stuff, but this all happened because uh, one of my friends, uh, a, a NaruTuber2, uh, named A Dog X. Uh, <laughs> he's he's like he sucks at making thumbnails and he hates it so and I told him like yo you're just making my thumbnails look so much better and I, I said jokingly that I would like yo I should just make a video and and show you how to how to make a basic thumbnail and he and he took it to well it, it would just start jokingly but I decided yeah that's not a bad idea I should probably do that just to make just sure because it gets me tilted when people get when people don't know how to make thumbnails and they go overboard or it looks really crappy and it's like bruh you could you, you could do so much better it's not that hard now I know everybody doesn't have Photoshop so at the end of the video I'll uh, I'll show you guys a an online website you can use that I use when I first started before I got Photoshop that if uh, it, it has almost almost the exact same stuff Photoshop has just not in depth but it's still just as good uh, to make thumbnails and I was using it when I first started even though back then I wasn't as good as I am now but it's still enough uh, to where I can teach you in Photoshop and you can bring it over to the online website and do it. So, first, we start out with our canvas. The white background, um, the dimensions are the, the 19, uh, what is it, 1980, or 1920 by 1080, I think, is the full resolution YouTube can go. I'm not entirely sure, but this is the one I use, so, yeah. Now, to make a thumbnail, you need, let's just say we're making a Naruto thumbnail. Naruto's been in his own fourth thumbnail. Uh, let's say it's gonna be a, a ranked or one of my subby battles. All right, let's just do that for example Now what you need you need a background you need for the most part uh, you're gonna need a character the logo if you want and uh, And the text of whatever you're gonna use this is the basic this is how basic it's gonna get so um, Let's see right here. I already loaded up two things and since my friend uh, this is basically for my friend um, a dog X uh, I know he's a big Daydara nerd, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use Daydara this render just for him. Now let me let me just go into a little bit of detail. A render is or a render or a .png file is a file that has no background. So if I take out the background that I already made, there's nothing here. This check this white and gray checkerboard means it has no background. It's it's completely transparent background. So you, that means you can just do whatever you want in the back of it and put this layer on top of everything and it'll come out. So if I open, if I turn on the Storm 4 logo, it's there. It's also a PNG file, so you don't see the background that it has or it's, or I deleted it. <coughs> but if I put the Daydara one now, it'll be on top. And if I put it under it, the Storm 4 logo will be on top. Pretty basic. Just, I just, I'm trying to review the basics. So. What I'm gonna do is make a, you know, like I said, a ranked or a subby battle with this Daydara render for my friend. Uh, so let's see, let's just do a basic, let's just keep the background white for now. And we go, we start editing the, the actual render first. So if you hold down shift, it'll keep the aspect ratio so it doesn't go, you know, if I just hold a corner and I drag it here, it gets skinny. If I, if I, do, it, if I uh, do it to the left or right, it gets wider. So. I'm gonna if you hold down shift it'll keep it looking the same it'll just get bigger or smaller which is pretty good now we just try to get it as good as you want it to to look like uh, I'm not the best at explaining so bear with me so I think this is pretty good for uh, for a thumbnail for how big a render should be depending what you want and now and now we move you probably just saw my Windows 8 thing fuck it uh, if you now we have to resize the storm 4 logo you do the same thing hold down shift and drag it around here where there's enough open space for it. This looks pretty good. And we're already basically half done. It's not even that it's not even that hard. Now for some of the thumbnails that you see on my channel, I do go a little bit more in depth. I do take my time on making them so they look crazier, more colorful and everything, but these are just as good. I, I just don't I just I'm not a fan of seeing people go go overboard on on their thumbnails trying to make it look amazing and it looks like you've tried way too hard so here's a guide for you <laughs> all right next we need some text so get this um all right so let's see what are we doing let's um yeah let's do a ranked oh shit you, you guys can't see that let me change the color 
let me bring this over because I got I got two screens so you guys probably won't see that. So there we go. Alright, so let's do let's do ranked. Uh, yeah, all caps is fine. Fuck it. And now let's just resize this down a bit. Holding on shift two. And we can pick whatever font we really like that you think would match the the thumbnail that you're gonna work on or or if you have like a certain font that you want to just use for that constant for like you have a font that you use just for ranked or a font just used for subby battle stuff like that you can keep it all the same so i like this font this one's pretty good uh and now where why can't i oh i accidentally did that okay so we have to keep resizing stuff so it doesn't look too big or too small and look this is already a million times better than what some people can do that they just try way too hard. So now, we can't leave it black, it, it looks too boring. So now we go to blending options, and here, let me move this to the side. And my my whole thing is, I like it, I like the colors to match. I, I'm pretty, like, colorful about it. Like, I like things to match. I can't, like, I don't, I wouldn't want this to be, I wouldn't want this to be, um, you know, the, okay, see me, the, these are some of the basic ones that you get in Photoshop. Like, I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want yellow, or orange and blue, or like, blue and uh and yellow these are some of the default ones so you can just mix and match i have a crap ton of these like defaults that i made and stuff like that so and some of them that i downloaded so you can just mess around let's see what which one which preset this one will look pretty good and then you can just mess around with them but like i said they can match so if you want the exact color you go down here to color click on the actual the yellow square or whatever color it is and then just pick somewhere on the actual thumbnail and it'll go and it'll make it that color with the eyedropper or uh, I don't know what that's called I, I'm just calling it eyedropper whatever so now that looks pretty good click OK and that's just uh, for the gradient that's for the actual flat color that you want it to next it still looks a little bland so we can give it a an outline it's called the stroke in uh, Photoshop you you can change how how thick you want it uh, obviously you don't want it too big or else it'll just be like that it's pretty retarded so uh, what's a good size? My I usually keep it at 15 for certain things, but 15, 10 to 15 is a pretty good thickness. Again, it, it, it all depends on what you want. Yeah, 15 looks pretty good. Now, uh, I want to go back to the color and make it a little bit, a little bit more brighter because you can, it, it it all looks like one one flat color again. So I accidentally just did the. Hang on, where is the dark darkness? Yeah, there it is. A little orangish. Why is it like that? Uh, you have to just mess around with it. Hang on then. Hello? Alright, well, this thing ain't working out like that. And then you can just drag this down a little bit to mix and match. Alright, so there we go. It's not too bad. Next, you can you can also these are all options that you can give it. So you can give it a, a shadow, a drop shadow in the background. So like if you move the distance, see that? See this right here? Where you can make it uh, darker, lighter. And this is just you know how far it is. This the little angle just you know determines where the shadow is going to be. So I think about here would be not bad. Where is it? Mm, no, where, where'd it go? No, a little bit more down, please. Okay, about there, but we'll save that for, for later. So now, I'm really into the double, into the double uh, borders. So the way I do it, um, I just find it easy, is to go to the, to the, the text file uh, right click and convert it to a smart object and then go to blending options again and make a stroke again uh, I'm gonna make it white but you, you're not gonna see that so I'll just make it red just for for an example and make it a little bit smaller than than the black one and then just make it to whatever color you want and now like I said you're not gonna see this so let me change the color of the background let me let me just make it purple for an example Oh, I didn't change it. GG. Alright, let me see. And so now over here, 
over here there's a white back there's a white um, outline of it now it, it can actually be pretty a little bit more thicker see and then just position it somewhere so you can still see the logo the logo can be a little bit bigger too now I think yep all right so now we should work on the background so it could literally be anything for the background. You can have a, a Naruto background. So let me find one real quick. Give me one second. Um, all right, so here's a background of of the Naruto, of Hashiram versus um, Madara in the, this is one of the screenshots that we got a long time ago. And it's full HD and you can see it clearly, clearly of Hashirama and Madara Susano. And you could use this as a background, a simple background. It doesn't have to be anything crazier than this. And you can edit anything that you see here by color correction or anything that you want. But if you want to make your own background, you can mess around with shapes. You can mess around with brushes and everything. Whatever you guys have to make whatever background you like. But it can just be as simple as downloading a picture and putting it as a background. Just don't make it look really bland or too or like you tried so hard so i got another photo here's here's one that i use for that i use for a couple of my thumbnails like just for ongoing things so let me hold shift again bring it there so here is the this one like it has the stone Four logo there but you can you can make it bigger and it'll it'll it, you guys won't see it so let's just do this one Enlarge it a little bit more so you don't see that Swarm 4 logo at the top. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Alright, and that's looking pretty good actually, right? So, another thing you can do is make the background stay or not stand out, um, just make it look better. Um, like I said, I'm not good at uh, explanation. So, let's do this. Let's uh, rasterize the file. Uh, where is it? Rasterize it, and then let's go to adjustments, make it black and white, yep, and then let's do a, a color gradient, if I could find it, gradient, alright, and like I said, I, I would like it to match, so let's do some yellow, where is it, where's a good one, I think this is the one I used, alright, and then cha let's change the, the way the layer is, so instead of normal, you see how it's changing in the background according to the color that you had? So let's see. There. This is pretty good. This looks like a really bomb thumbnail. And it'll it'll like this is what attracts people to your to your to your to the to the video. So this this is pretty good right now. And like I said, there's still uh, there's still a bunch of stuff we could do. You can add like an episode number, you can still add color correction. So let's edit the actual Daydara. Let's see, what could we do? We can give him, uh, we can give him a, a border if you want. Okay, see, okay, here's, here's a little thing. Give him a little border, small. So you guys see these, these white dots, or this one? Yeah, this is the only one. Sometimes not everything in the render is completely erased besides the actual character. Sometimes you have to go in and erase it yourself, and it'll show up in strokes, so you just gotta delete it. So like that, simple as that, just delete it. It's not anything too crazy. Let's see. It's all just editing and taking your time with it. You don't have to rush. You're, you shouldn't be in a rush to make a thumbnail. And this is looking pretty good. So all that's left now is to, you can leave it as this or you can keep um, adding some more color corrections. You can add color corrections like uh, brightness and contrast, hue and saturation, vibrance to any single one of these layers or you can add them all at once to, to all of these and by going to one of these adjustment uh, layers at the top. So let's do some brightness and contrast, see how that goes. And just with the slider, go to the right. So you see, if I go all the way to the right, everything is completely contrast. The yellow looks more more darker. If I go all the way to the left, the contrast is, is way too low and it doesn't look as it was a minute ago. So see, look, without the contrast, this is, this is how it is normally. With no contrast, you, there's a there's a good difference that you can see. And then if we do the contrast all the way to the right, see. So it's all just a balance of what you want. So let's see where 
Around here looks pretty good. Should we mess with the brightness? Yeah, a little bit of brightness is good. So you can see all of this. Um, and then if you want to do a border around the thumbnail, which is what I do on my, uh, like almost all my thumbnails, you make a new layer, go to the square marquee tool. Yeah, this one, the rectangular one. And just make, uh, just hold down the left uh, mouse button and just make a box around everything. Right click and do a stroke. And I do a stroke of 35 black. So, and then I don't touch anything else. Click OK. And now you see that there's a black border around everything now. And it's its own layer. So it's not messing with any other layer but itself. Uh, just so you guys can see better. Let me make it white. So see, as you guys can see, it's um, it's just it's just a, uh, a border around the whole thing, and it, it makes the it pop it makes the thumbnail pop out a little bit more, which is always a good thing. Uh, let me leave it black. You guys can make it whatever color you want, but yeah, we're basically done, guys. This is like you can add a little bit more. You can add a little bit more text, like episode, you know, number one, two, three, whatever, etc. Uh, you can add a little bit more color corrections if you want. It all depends what you really want the image to be at the end, but. It, it, it doesn't have to be crazy, it doesn't have to be so bland looking, you don't need, you know, like, really um, too many crazy things in a thumbnail to make it look good. So this is just a basic guide of, of me telling you guys how, how to make a thumbnail, hope you guys did learn uh, a little bit of, of my, my techniques, of some basic things that you can do. You guys can also learn, there's a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do certain things in Photoshop, I, that's how I learned, I taught myself trial and error just practicing every day editing i'm always editing something on photoshop and it's, it's just a tons of fun so hopefully you guys did enjoy, enjoy uh, did enjoy this video if you guys want you want to see more little tutorials like this i know this was a pretty long one but i can make a little short ones uh for example how to make a render uh how to make the png file of like you know of daydara how to cut out the background stuff like that it's not as um as simple as you know just deleting it uh deleting the background uh in one go there's sometimes some backgrounds aren't as, as simple as that but yeah just any little uh, tutorials that you guys would want comment them down below if you want to see more comment down below leave a like but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace